Because I don't know shit. Yo, what is good, YouTubes? This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC. That is the Everyday City Carry. And today we've got another episode of Too Many Cuts because I have knives that I have held on to for too long and I've got to send them out. Okay, so first up, we're going to look at the, we, well, first of all, we're going to be looking at the Artisan Cutlery Centauri and the Cancept Knives Cryo, all right? Let's check out the Cryo first and I'm going to take a look at my cheat sheet because I don't know sheet. Uh, let me just give me a sec right now because I have it open right here, dude. All right, so, um, fuck man, so, so unprepared right now. All right, dude. So with a cryo, okay, you've got a titanium frame lock flipper, blue anodized hardware, and pocket clip. Okay, you've got two deployments of two methods of deployment: the flipper tab, which works pretty well. Is it drop shutty? Decent, not really full drop shut. I'm assuming that the Fuller fanatic would agree with that. Um, and you've got the little spidey hole opener thing, okay? Um, I don't know what it is, but with this particular version of the cryo from Cancept Knives, shout out to Cancept Knives, of course, I like the mini cryo better. I had a better experience with it. It was smoother, and this one just feels a little stiff. It's, like, really heavy, too. Like, it just, I don't know, man. Is there weight reduction in this? Yeah, there actually is weight reduction, but it's not like it fucking matter, dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got a slight recurve on the blade here. Someone pointed out to me in my comment section. S35EN blade steel. This is $199, though. All right? That's going to be kind of a hard pass for me. There are so many knives at $199 that are so exceptional. And I don't know. This one just doesn't do anything special for the price for me you know you got jimping on top ergo is a pretty good rounded chamfered and everything this is probably the sharpest spot on it the mini cryo is much better to me uh, if you needed a bigger knife than the mini cryo i'd probably get something else other than this um <clears throat> you're looking at 4.31 ounces also like what I don't know, you know, this is, I don't know what market this is trying to reach, this knife right here. I was thinking maybe like a gentleman's folder kind of thing, but it's a little too robust for that. Um, and it just didn't do it for me, the Cancept Knives Cryo, you know, that's going to be a pass for me, dog. And uh, that's pretty much it. Is it gram worthy? Let's see. It is gram worthy. It's got some balance, as you can see right there. So, you know, that's what you're working with, man. Let's check out the other guest of the episode, though. Ba-boom. The Artisan Cutlery Centauri. I have been promoting this knife so hardcore on all my social media platforms, whether it's TikTok or fucking, you know, Twitter or Instagram, YouTube. Um, I When I get pocket checked by people, I just love this thing. This is by Ray Laconico, as you can see on the spine there, his signature little thing. It says R. Laconico and Artisan Cutlery. Pretty dope. You've got the lanyard hole through the back, right? And I'm always trying to be an advocate for that. This is a frame lock, titanium and carbon fiber scales. Absolutely beautiful uh, Damascus blade. I don't usually like Damascus that much, but this is so nice. I think this is the, um, the 3.5 version. There is a smaller version of this, which I would like. It's a 3 inch one. These are going for about $199 and $213. Back to the cryo again. It's like, would you rather have this for $199 or this? And then it's like, dude, huge, huge gap in, uh, you know, quality and, and need. Like, I need this. I don't necessarily know if I need that because there's so many knives that are like that at a lower price point. 
you know, not to totally um, put that knife down, but, you know, I'm totally putting it down because <laughs> I like the mini one better. But, yeah, th let's get back to this. Look at this pocket clip, too. What do you guys think about that? I think it looks pretty dope. Very Laconico-esque kind of looks. Uh, it, look, it fits really well with the titanium. And just now, I've been touching this. There's, like, a little bit of texturing on this. Just very light. It's just so cool, man. Very nice ergonomics. Nothing really sharp about it. And, of course drop shot for the people one time you can uh, front flip this this is a front flipper so you're gonna be doing this right you'll be doing this but you can also do it with the index finger if you're skilled just like that man which is what I like to do sometimes tons of fidget factor on this one and I just really really like this if you guys want something around that price range I think you can get it for like 170 something the three inch one I saw that on blade HQ just now when I googled it um, is it 170 something I want to be sure not too sure it could I could be wrong I think I did though but I do know that 199 uh, plus is probably the starting point for the three and a half uh, inch blade one and i just really like this man 3.71 ounces on the weight so is it gram worthy hell yeah bro look how beautiful that is man you can be showing off to your homies on the gram right now and be like i got the centauri you know what i mean this is how i take pictures on instagram by the way just go like this <laughs> giving you my secrets yeah fake wood what's up but you know let's do a little bit of a knives up real quick before we end this too many cuts episode artisan cutlery centauri cantep knives cryo uh the m40-03 deadbolt from CR crkt and the completely disappointing razor cliff from CRKT. I don't know why they keep doing uh, Graham Razel or uh, Graham Designs. I forgot what his fucking name is. Something Graham. Um, they keep doing them wrong, man, because this is just such a disappointment. But anyway, yo, this is Too Many Cuts episode. Uh, I don't know which, how many, but, you know, thank you for tuning in. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.